So in this example, um, ladies and gentlemen, when we're trying to identify the slope, you guys probably remember this formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So basically what we have is we're identifying our points. So one thing that you can do is label the points. So that is a x and y coordinates. Here's an x and y coordinate, and here's an x and y coordinate. So to distinguish them, we use subscripts. So I'll call these x1, y1, and all these call x2, y2. If you did it the other way, that's perfectly fine. There is no right or wrong way. We just need to make sure we have them distinguished correctly. So now I'm going to go ahead and plug them into my formula to identify my slope. So I have y2 is 1 third minus y1, which is a negative 1 half. Um, x, x2 is negative 2 thirds minus 3 halves. If you guys remember, um, whenever dividing fractions, we have to be able to get common denominators. So, um, or whenever adding and subtracting. So I look at 3 and 2 and I say, what is the, what is the least common multiple that 3 and 2 both been divided to? And the least common multiple, or denominator, is 12. Because 3 divides into 12, right? And 2 divides into 12. No, I'm sorry. It's 6. 6 is the smallest number that 3 and 2 divide into, right? Yes? So all I need to do is I need my denominators to be the same before I can apply operations. So to get 3 to be 6, I need to multiply by 2. However, in fractions, if you look at the fraction 1 half and 2 fourths, those are equivalent fractions, right? They mean the exact same thing. 1 half is the same thing as 2 over 4. Same thing as 3 over 6. So to have equivalent fractions, we have to, whatever to, we have to multiply the same number on the top and the bottom. I have to do the same thing over here. To get 2 to be th 6, I need to multiply by 3 over 3. And I do the exact same thing for these two fractions down here. So therefore, when I simplify my answer here, I have 2 over 6 um, plus, because minus a negative, I have 3 over 6, divided by negative 2 over 6 minus 9 over 6. So 2 over 6 plus 3 over 6 is going to equal 5, 6. So I get something different than whoever got over there. Let's say I'm getting 11, 11 over 6. I don't know if I made a mistake or if you made a mistake. Um, four. It's 4. That's, well, that's 4, right? But still, that would give me negative 13 over 6, right? Which is still different than this game over there. So. Is there any other? I didn't miss any other negatives, though, right? Let me see them. Oh, okay. They probably made a mistake on their subtracting. So it would have been negative minus that, so it's negative 13 over 6. Remember, whenever you have a fraction divided by another fraction, you can multiply by the reciprocal. So by multiplying by the reciprocal, my final answer is going to be negative 5 over 13. That is going to be my slope. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I know fractions are not everybody's favorite, um, but there are going to be problems in this course, in this class, that we're going to be dealing with.